Welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a unique rib stitch that uses single crochets and slip stitches together to get this really unique look. You can see that the slip stitches combined with the single crochets give us this nice column of V stitches that look like knits, but you definitely have this row of gutter right here that are the single crochets. And it gives you this really cool, unique ribbed look. If you want to follow along with the written instructions for this ribbing, you can grab those from my website, marleybird.com. I've put a link in the video description box right down there below. While you're down there, go ahead and smash that like button, as my kids say, to let other people know you enjoyed this video. If you want to grab your hook and some washed weight yarn, join me right here and I'll show you how to get this single crochet and slip stitch ribbed look. To make this ribbing, you actually will chain any number of stitches you wish right down here at the start, and you work back and forth in this method. Let's go ahead and grab our yarn and hook. For this example, I'm using a worsted weight yarn and a size H or a five millimeter crochet hook. I wanna start off with a slip knot and place that directly onto my hook. Once the slip knot is on my hook, I will go ahead and chain the total number of chains that represent the number of stitches I want for my ribbing. Remember, this particular ribbing is meant to be like so when it's on the fabric. So whatever your chain amount is, it's actually this part of the ribbing, okay? So like if this were attached to a hat that went up this direction, okay? Once you get those stitches on there, go ahead and add one. Now we are going to skip that first stitch behind our hook and working into the second one, so that's the second chain from hook, we will work a single crochet. After you complete that first single crochet, I want you to go ahead, grab a stitch marker, and in that V, right at the top of that single crochet, can you see right there? Put your marker right there into that V, okay? This is very important, make sure you do that. Now we'll go ahead and carry on down your chain stitches and single crochet into each chain. Once you've completed your first rows of single crochet, you're ready to move on to the second row. Do not chain. Go ahead, turn your work, and we are going to work slip stitches all the way down this row, working into each single crochet through both legs, okay? So let's do the first one. We'll go into that first single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop. Now this is important. Bring your hook up parallel to your work, okay? That extends that loop up to the same height as the one that's on your hook, and it will make it so that way when you pull this new loop through the old loop, it won't be too tight. Once you've pulled that through, grab your other stitch marker and make sure that you put that stitch marker through that stitch that you just completed, through that slip stitch, okay? Right there. Now, go to the next single crochet, in, around, up, bring it up parallel, pull that loop through the loop on your hook. Do not tighten up your stitches. You want these to be nice and loose, okay? If you make them too tight, it will pull in on your fabric and it will make it to where no matter that you have the correct number of stitches, the stitches are getting tighter and tighter and you'll have a parallelogram instead of an actual rectangle or square, okay? You can see here, I worked all the way down to the end where my marker was, which is great, did my slip stitches. Now I chain one, so at this end where my pink stitch marker is, I chain one and turn. Now, working through the slip stitches, I'm gonna do single crochets. I wanna make sure I do not put a single crochet in that chain one. And if you're looking at this, it's gonna look like you have V's on this side and you have V's on this side. If you go in between those two V's, like it's like you're going, you're stabbing in the middle on the top and go straight down. You'll see you're putting both of those V's on the hook, okay? That's what you want to do. And then you go ahead and complete your single crochet. 
don't forget to move your marker up. It's very important, okay? It helps us know where that last stitch is. Go to the next one. Notice I'm going in the middle. I'm like piercing down and I'm getting both of those loops on my hook and I complete my single crochet. Do that again. I'm right in the middle, piercing down. I have both of those loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull up. Yarn over, draw through two. I'm gonna do this all the way down the row. Let's see here, this is where it gets tricky. This is why I want your marker there. If we had a lot more stitches, it would take more time to go and count. But this last stitch here, if we didn't have a marker through it, it's actually very difficult to find. So having that marker there really helps us. We know that we have to put our hook through that marker. Okay, that is, that's, our, that's our slip stitch that we completed that we know we have to work into. So it helps to, to know where that is. So we have that marker there to be able to help us. So we can put our hook where that marker is and complete our single crochet. All right, so you see that? See how that is leaving all of those nice stitches right there and that's giving us this part of the fabric right there. That's what you're seeing right here. If I were to turn this sideways, see how that looks like it's starting? You will not chain one on this side of the fabric. You simply turn your work and this is where we will do slip stitches again. So we'll go into the single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, make sure you're parallel and then pull that loop through the loop on your hook. Don't forget to move your marker up. So I'm moving it up, putting it right through that chain that was just completed. Okay, not the chain, but the slip stitch and then carry on. Go to the next single crochet, pull up a loop, pull that through. Do not pull those tight. You want those nice and loose, okay? If you start pulling them tight, your fabric is not gonna look correctly. So you want those nice and loose. At this end, I do want to chain one and turn, and then I'm working back again, and I wanna make sure that I'm working through all of those slip stitches and working single crochets. Don't forget to move your marker up once again. See, I'm just putting in the top of that stitch and go all the way down working single crochets. If you are not using markers, it's going to be more difficult to see where that last stitch is, especially on this row. Even I started to mess up. So right here, it's kind of just, it's hard to see it, but I can see it now that it's marked. So I know that I could just put my hook right there in that marked stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then finish my single crochet. I think by now you kind of get the, the gist of how this works. Let's take a look at the finished fabric again. I'm going to set this down with the other side facing so that way we can get a look at what we did compared to what I had shown you before. But you can see how it's starting to get these rows of, they look like V stitches, they look like knit stitches, just like what's going on over here in the fabric here. On the opposite side, it just looks like a bunch of single crochets. You don't see any of those slip stitches. It just looks like single crochets. Now, this particular fabric is not super stretchy, okay? It kind of stays the size it is. I mean, it has some natural stretch just because it is crochet, but it is not anything like, say, a single crochet ribbing, just like this, or even just a slip stitch ribbing, like this one. I mean, look how much spring that one has. It wants to bounce back. This one, it's just, I mean, it doesn't, look at that. I mean, this one I can stretch, this one I can stretch, but it, it doesn't really do much. This one here, let's move these up. This one here, I mean, woo. And all of these are done using the same type of yarn, the same size hook. This is single crochet ribbing. This is slip stitch stretchy ribbing. And this is single crochet and slip stitches together. This is one of those ribbings that's great for your crocheter's toolbox. And now you know how to use it. And when you do, make sure you let people know that Marley Bird taught you how to do it. Hey, thanks for joining me today on the channel. If you want more videos just like that one, check out some of these other videos that I've already handpicked for you. And don't forget to hit subscribe so that way you're up to date whenever I release a new video. And don't forget, smash that like button as my kids say. Bye guys.